I am here to do my baby shower haul. I'm gonna be doing a couple of different videos for this just so that they're not too long. Um, my baby shower was Saturday, August 25th. Um, it was hosted by my sister and my sister-in-law, and of course my mother was there, and I had all my friends and family there. It was wonderful, so pretty. Um, as you probably saw in the like trailer part of this video, um, it was a pink lemonade theme. So it was just, just beautiful and magical and such a special day. And I had so many friends come um, from far and wide to come help celebrate me and the baby. We're gonna start out with clothes. And oh, they're so cute. I know, sadly, it's a little bit more fun to shop for baby girl clothes than it is for baby boy clothes, except my nephew. He is styling for sure. Look, oh my gosh. Okay, so this says such a lovely girl. And then, this one back here is a whole bunch of little arrows. It's so cute. It's Florida State colors. <laughs> I went to Florida State, in case you're not aware. And then this little skirt. My best friend Leanne got this for me. She also went to Florida State, so she knows. Go Seminoles. Little booties. They're like socks and this ugh, darling little hair thing. I can't wait to put on her cute little ballerina socks with like the mint detail a bib just has some flowers on it and it says thank heaven for little girls and then there is a little onesie with flutter sleeves and super cute pants they are mint polka dots carissa i feel like you purchased this mint polka dot pants with a little ruffle on her little bottom. I apologize in advance if I use the word cute too much. It's really hard to get through this without saying that word too much. The next outfit, sweet little red sweater with um, like a floral trim. Is it floral? Yeah, floral little ribbon trim. And the sweater has, it's like a, um, like a pointel stitch oh so cute more ruffle bottoms and oh, hi. we got this little footed onesie she's a strawberry so precious i love the stripes like the rainbow stripes remind me of clothing that i wore when i was a little girl so i love it it's a onesie set of course it has a little sweet little elephant on there and then this beautiful like blue with pink flowers and silver polka dots on this one everybody knows that i love polka dots and it came with pants to match so just gray with the ruffle on the bottom and then also um some regular yeah no ruffle pink silver polka dot this sweet little outfit i mean full on outfit purple floral pants and then a onesie that says so much to love again with a sweet little elephant on it and it's navy i love navy and then this navy jacket with the pink bow or purple bow what am i talking about purple bow and the hood has the pattern of the leggings in it next little outfit kind of similar style except these are jeans she has soft little jeggings oh it's a long sleeve onesie with um, it's gray with like a light blue pink navy floral print <clears throat> and then the pink jacket with the hoodie that has the onesie pattern inside oh these are two zippered sleepers they have the little Ooh, these have like grippies on the bottom of them. This has a little sweet unicorn on it. And then the other one, oh, it's all these little girls that are like dressed as princesses. Here is another little outfit. So the leggings are, they almost look like tulips, but they're actually like the flower part is a heart. They're navy, white, and pink. Then the inside onesie just says love. And the jacket, of course, again, right, it's like a kind of strawberry pink with little hearts on the front of it. And the hoodie has that navy, the legging, or the, yeah, 
like imprint on the inside. This is so sweet. So it is a little romper that has a pretty little dragonfly on the left. Or no, well, my left. And the little flutter sleeves. Oh my goodness, I love it. Here is a, I guess it's called, I don't know if it's called a union suit. Like a long sleeve, long pant onesie sort of thing with those two navy hearts on the front. This is a navy onesie with the flutter sleeves and it has this super sweet like detail up at the round the neck. I just love that. And then all of these, they're not embroidered but they're kind of three dimensional ish. No, they're like puffy, I should say. Flowers, but in this, it's like, mm, I can't, I can't. Yellow polka dots with ruffles. <laughs> I love this so much. I can't remember if they're supposed to go with like that ruffle, that yellow polka dot, potentially, but these little pants are plain on the front and they're navy and white stripe, but on the back, on the back. I want those pants. Like Karen and I, Karen is here visiting for the baby shower and she and I were joking about like trying to put them on because I want them. Here we have, I haven't unpackaged them totally, but oh gosh, they're cute. These are um, newborn sleepers, zipper sleepers. One of them has like a sheet pattern on it. And then the other one is just like a pink and white polka dot. And the inside says cutest little girl. She will be. All right, this set too. Polka dots again, you know I love my polka dots. It's like a chambray material, which I die for. Um, this little ruffle at the top with the pink embroidery and then it comes with the tiniest little navy shorts you ever did see. <laughs> Next little outfit, this is like sparkly, can you see it? There you go, you can see that. Um, little mint. <laughs> The little ruffle at the bottom is mint and then it comes with some mint leggings. This is another little outfit. A light pink, like a baby pink jacket. It has a little, I think that's a bear. Well, a little animal on the front. And then sweatpants. Cute pink sweatpants. This sweet little onesie with all these little woodland creatures. A little mouse, a fox, a panda. A little bunny rabbit. I have to call this one out specifically. My friend Christy got this for me. Or for her, I should say. It is a Wonder Woman zero to three month onesie with a cape. The cape does come off if you want it to come off, but I think she has her Halloween outfit. I can't! Oh my gosh, I think it is just the most darling little thing. Love it. Karen! <laughs> okay, so, nope, nope, I'm looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> okay, so the next little section we've got is just kind of like sort of accessories or things where we didn't have enough to kind of group it in one little. Let me just tell you. Okay, bibs. So this one says, I make chunky thighs look good. Yeah, girl. This one says, short, sassy, cute, and classy. And then my wine gets better with age. These, I love these. They're just, I don't know what it is about muslin, but I'm shook, okay? I'm on board. I'm on board with muslin. So these are so beautiful. They're by the company called Little Unicorn. Um, they're a cotton muslin bandana bib. And there are two in here. One is this beautiful rose print. I'm just all about like a floral in all sorts of ways. And then this one is sort of like a smaller floral but like one color print whereas like this is all different colors oh my gosh i love them now we can go on to this is um a set that somebody got me or her i should say i don't know it's like a weird way to describe it right hooded towels 
I love a good hooded towel for babies. They're just so precious in them, so I can't wait for her to wear these. If you can see back here, and I'm gonna be doing a nursery tour, but back there is like a little metal rack that has some hooks. That's where I plan to hang her hooded towels. So these have gold polka dots and then red, not red, <laughs> it's a pink hood with gold polka dots, but they're heart shaped. And then some washcloths to match. This hooded towel set has flamingos on it. It is a hooded towel and a washcloth. Next up is four of the their flannel blankets. Um, there's one with, oh, <laughs> one with just like little baby animals on it in gray, then a gray and white stripe, another of the baby animals, and then of course, gray and white polka dot. They're just so like soft and sweet looking. Oh, can't wait. Then my friend Shang um, did some embroidery. I knew she would. She embroidered this burp cloth with her name. And then she did this one. It says, I love mommy. She did a big blanket for her with her name embroidered on it, which this is so soft and cozy. I love it. So we got a couple of toys, not a lot, which is great because I don't feel like babies need a ton when they're, you know, babies. We received this little girl. She is going to sit in the nursery in a special place. Um, she came with a book. Um, so she's a character from a book, so that little girl, a little taggy guy. What are you? Oh, you're an elephant. I think you're so cute. So it just has a whole bunch of, you know, different colored fabric with all these tags on the end just for some like sensory play and cuddling with a little blankie because it's so soft. And then we got <laughs> um, this toy from actually it's a... Baby Einstein take along tunes and it's from my band director from high school. So of course she had to do a little musical toy. So we got that as well. Next section I wanna do is kind of accessories. We got bottle brushes, two little pacifiers for her. These are the Avent or Avent Free Flow, zero to six months. I registered for just a couple. Um, I know with my sister's son in the hospital, he was given the soothy one or something. I think everybody in the, in the hospital gets the same one. Um, and he really likes those. So, you know, she didn't really have to experiment with brands. He's tried other ones and he's fine with other ones. So that's great. She doesn't have to continue to experiment. But um, I did register for just a couple, a few of them, just in case she didn't like one or the other. We got some Dr. Brown's bottles. They're pink. And I registered only for Dr. Brown's bottles because my mother was a nanny. She said that she loved um, those when she was a nanny and they had the best success with them. My sister's working really well with them. So I just didn't bother with anything else. Next thing, this little cute little teether. It's a watermelon teether. It is freezer safe. So you can put it in the freezer and then it will just help them with teething. It's really super cool on their gums. I thought it was such a great idea. So one of these. And then this last little accessory. I love it. It's called the mini mat. It sections to the table. And I got it in the blush color just because place mat and plate all in one. And again, sections to the table. So hopefully she doesn't rip that off the table. I know some people have had that happen. Like their children are just geniuses and they figure it out, but we're going to go with it. Next up is bath stuff. So first thing I have here is the Johnson Skin Nourish Sweet Apple Lotion. I know originally, or I don't know, last year or some other time frame. Um, there were issues with Johnson products because it had a lot of chemicals and stuff in them, but I know now that they have been reformulated and it has no parabens, phthalates, or dyes. Um, and I just bet you it smells so good. Two of the Aveeno Baby Wash and Shampoo. Tear-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free. Another cute little Aveeno set. It has the wash and shampoo and then daily moisture lotion with it. We got a bath scooper, or no, like a waterfall, waterfall bath rinser for when she's in the bath. And also for when we're giving her a bath, we got the, is it Pudge or Pooch? <laughs> bath arm rest. It is in the gray and white pattern. And then also the bath kneeler. These are gonna come in handy for sure. All right, so the next 
little part is really just kind of random stuff. First thing we have is the uh, Project Nursery Dream Weaver Smart Light and Sound Soother. Plays lullabies and nature sounds. It's a wireless speaker so we can stream music from um, our smartphone with Bluetooth. It's also a night light. It sparkles, fades, dances, and rhythm. Ooh, it's a sleep timer too. I actually didn't know that, but that's cool. Such a pretty little set. So this goes for her uh, in her car seat or in the stroller. It is the head support and the strap cover set. I really loved it because of the head support <laughs> because it has obviously the flower, the floral one, and then there's an insert um, that is pink and white stray. So. You know I love that. We received the Baby Brezza bottle warmer. I registered for the Baby Brezza, the formula dispenser, like the Baby Keurig, which is amazing. Um, the Baby Brezza bottle warmer, as well as the sterilizer and dryers. We received, ooh, that's cool. This is a hip healthy, hip healthy product. The Lily Baby Complete Airflow Breathable 3D Mesh carrier it is in the polka dot pattern obviously these words got me airflow breathable mesh your girl gets hot okay and i can't with a baby on me i can only imagine how much hotter i would get so that's why i picked this one it had a black and white polka dot pattern in the store i said that's the one for me it is also from what i read on the back a hip healthy product from the Hip Dysplasia Institute. It can take them from newborn to 48 months or seven pounds to 45 pounds. And then it has six different ways you can wear it. So I think I made a good choice. If I do say so myself. My brother, my sister-in-law, my sister and her boyfriend got us our baby monitor. This is the Nanit. My sister and her boyfriend have this as well. That's why I knew about it. It gives you bird's eye view, zoom and night vision, HD video and audio, background audio, sound and smart motion notifications, remote viewing, a night light, shadow resistant lens, directional antenna, works when the internet is down. It has temperature and humidity sensors. It's super cool. I love that it's not hackable IP address. Very important. Next, I wanna show you something so sweet. My best friend made me, made us this sign that says, you are my sunshine. I love this song and I am just I, without words on this sign. She made it at Board and Brush. I can't wait to go there and make things. Last thing we gotta talk about is books. So for my baby shower in the invitation, we asked that people in lieu of cards brought books and wrote messages to the baby in them. First up, we have, there's a walk it in my pocket board book. Then we have Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See by Eric Carle. On the night you were born. I love that. Obviously, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. A classic. Two golden books, Peter Cottontail and The Bunny Hop from Sesame Street. Love you forever. Will you be my sunshine? Okay. Did I see this? Oh my gosh. Okay, Disney Princess Bedtime Stories. This is from her grandmother, Chad's mom. Obviously she knows that I love Disney, so I'm pretty sure that's why she got this, but I love it. The Wonderful Things You Will Be. Karen got her this one. Guess how much I love you. This is the book that went along with the doll that she received. So the Pinkalicious, that's what it was. Pinkalicious. The Giving Tree, a classic. This is from my friend Shing and her husband, Bobby. It's Bobby Knows Best. Oh, I love this one too. A huge book of fairy tales. Can't wait to read that. Oh my gosh, there's a bear on my chair. <laughs> Just like everyone knows that I love Disney, everybody knows that I love Harry Potter. So my best friend Biebs um, got her this and there is the note on the inside. But have you guys seen these? They're so amazing. I love them. The illustrations are just, I mean, I want to read it. <laughs> I, I mean, just for me, I just want to read it. I can't wait, cannot wait to get to read this. So I just love it and I absolutely wanna collect them all. And the last couple of things I didn't bring in here just cause they're too big to show you. Um, we did get a couple of boxes of diapers from 
people at the shower, my best friends. And we also, of course, received some gift cards, which was so thoughtful and nice. And then the big stuff that's just arrived to the house that wasn't brought to the shower, which I'm actually very, very grateful for because we didn't, we wouldn't have had room to bring everything home. Um, the shower was about two hours, maybe an hour and 45 minutes away from our house. So, and I had to bring myself, Karen, my best friends with me in my car. My parents bought us our stroller months ago. I had found it in Babies R Us when they were going out of business and I just loved how easily it maneuvered. I loved that um, it was easy to fold up and I could lift it really easily. It wasn't heavy at all. Um, it came with an infant car seat. I loved the pattern of the fabric on the inside. And of course it was like the last one. So my parents purchased that for us. We also received a pack and play, a Graco pack and play, a Graco high chair. It's a seven in one, which I'm so excited about this thing. When I was registering for the big items that were, you know, big, in size and also big in money. I wanted to pick things that would last a really long time so that would go with her throughout her youth. The high chair that I got or registered for and received is a seven in one. So it takes her from like an infant, um, you know, when they start using a high chair all the way up until toddler and it turns into like a table with two chairs. It's crazy, but I'm so, like jazz to have that thing. Um, we also received a swing, a Graco Duet Soothe Swing. We received a Graco 4-in-1, like a forever car seat. Um, so, you know, the stroller came with an infant car seat. Now we have um, the other car seat that will actually grow with her after infancy all the way to a booster seat, which is great. We received her jumperoo, so a cute little jumperoo, it's pink. Um, we also received her play mat um, that has, you know, the stuff up above that she can kind of play with and look at when she's younger. I think it's also a ball pit. Like it turns into a ball pit, I'm pretty sure, which is really cool. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this baby shower haul. Again, I'm going to be doing another haul video of just the things that I've purchased for her as well as my family has purchased for her, things that Chad and I have kind of accumulated so far. Um, I will also be doing a nursery tour, so look out for that. You'll get to see everything as well as her name. We're excited. Today, as I'm filming this, I'm 34 weeks and one day. So that means five weeks and six days left until our due date, October 7th. We are so excited to meet this little girl. We can't wait to bring her home. <clears throat> I have to be careful because I'm gonna start crying. And um, we're just, we're looking forward to it. We can't wait, Marley can't wait. Everyone is so excited. So thank you again so, so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.